Another great productivity feature that we can access for publishing is the ability to perform what is called a page setup override. Now, this particular example is a great context for this functionality. Here, we've imported 10 different sheets that were actually started up at one of our offices in Europe. So the dimensioning on this has all been done in metric. But since I pull these drawings over here to the United States office, we don't have our plotters set up for metric sheet sizes. So this drawing here that's set up to plot in A3 doesn't make any sense on my plotting equipment. However, it's pretty close to a USD size. So what I can do is come in here and publish and I can use a D size override that I've gone ahead and set up in my template file. And I can now override the standard A3 formatting that is in all these sheets with a D size formatting, and I could even go all monochrome if I wanted to strip the color out of it. So it now becomes very easy for me to override the default plotting functionality for all of these files. And when you think about having to try and go in and do this manually on a one by one file basis, you start to understand really how compelling the power of this functionality is. All I have to do is select this and the full plotting job would be submitted just like it would have been if I'd published up here in our prior example. Now, one other thing that you can do from this context menu is you can go directly to the publish dialog box. And now what you have is the capability to override and use almost any type of functionality that you would like to use based on your plotting gear that you have here in your office. So this gives you kind of the ultimate flexibility to be able to do whatever you want. One last thing is if we look at the publish dialog here and we can look at our sheet set publish options, this is what tells us what the default format is going to be. For example, why we tended to get uh, DWIF output and why we tended to get multi-sheet DWIF output here. So if you get these publish options set the way you want, you can either publish in bulk like this using whatever the default page setup parameters were in here, or you can override using whatever page setup parameters make sense for you at your office with your hardware, even if that's not the same as the office where you receive the drawings from in the first place. So override functionality and the ability to directly access the publish dialog box makes sheet set plotting an extremely powerful functionality.